Hello everyone, today we are looking at one of these. This is a British Telecom CMH300. Uh, that's the fancy name for it. Um, if you're an old school guy like me, you'll probably know that this is just a, a regular old um, Teletac. Uh, Teletac was basically a, a type of phone like a Microtac, but without the flip. Uh, so this is what the box looks like. This was just marketed very cleverly uh, by British Telecom on the Cellnet network in the UK. Um, so, but it is in essence a, a Motorola uh, Teletac, uh, probably uh, as basic as a, a Teletac 200, probably or 250. Uh, like with um, all the British Telecom phones of the era, they made these in a sort of teal green sort of color. Um, if you haven't checked out some of the other videos that I did about. Um, some of my other Microtacs, I'm just trying to pull one out here. Um, this one here, for example, is one straight off the pile. This is a, a DPC. Um, I think, I'm not too sure what this was badged up as um, by BT, but this is a, a DPC uh, equivalent, I suppose, uh, uh, a Motorola Classic, but just in the, in the teal sort of color with the uh, with the matching battery, of course. Um, but we're not looking at that today. We are looking at one of these. So in the box, you got um, a charger. Now this one actually, it's got a straight little connector there um, for the simple reason that um, these are budget phones. So you didn't really get a desktop shoe, um, something like that for a Technophone or a Motorola or, or a, a Nokia like this. This is a desktop shoe for a Nokia. Uh, you you just basically got the um, the, the charger to, to slot straight in there, and uh, the the light would come on there to tell you it's charged. Of course, obviously you would uh, you could put a, a cigarette lighter charger in there, um, and I'm not even sure if I've got one to hand, but um, no, that's not a Motorola one. But anyway, you guys get the idea. So, um, but uh, real basic phones. Let's uh, put a good battery on and fire this one up and. Um, see what we can do um this is a very basic phone and unfortunately i don't have the um the manual which goes with it i have no idea why i i assume i bought it together with a manual but i guess it must have come out the box or something you got uh, you got an original um nickel cadmium battery as well um uh, even though this phone did come with uh with the matching teal battery um but I've stolen that to put onto this phone because this phone just came bare. Um, but uh, whoever owned this phone obviously had a, a black generic Motorola NICAD battery. Um, if I can get the sucker out to show you guys. Um, actually, yeah, this is a thin one. Um, so yeah, this is uh, actually in real good condition. Actually, I don't even think if, if this is even used actually, but. Uh, probably will not hold a charge, so not worth talking about. So anyway, so this is the phone. Um, got the regular pull-out antenna, um, which of course we all know is just plastic. Um, but So let's fire this one up and see what it does. Got a, a nice 10 character LCD dot matrix display. Um, see how many you can fit in there yet. So 10 digits basically. Uh, got the uh, the circle with the with the line through it. That's obviously a Motorola's way of, uh, of saying you got no service. If that flashes, that means you, you obviously got service, but not from your uh, provider. It means you can make emergency calls, but you can't place chargeable calls. Um, usual Motorola stuff. This now this phone is real basic. It's not got a, a menu as such. You just basically push the up arrow, and I think you just got one function. So you got that. HF, which doesn't do anything. What does up two do? Up three, up four. Oh, hang on a minute. So, disable. So, if I had a manual, I'd know what up arrow three would be. I've just disabled something. Um, not too sure what, but two doesn't do anything. Four, no service. I'm not going to press five because five sometimes is lock. Um, have a look, enable, six is obviously something else. Not too sure what that is, but without the manual, I can't tell you. Um, and that's how you would obviously uh, activate and deactivate functions on this phone. There's no menu, there's no up and down, none of that stuff. Uh, you got a memory recall and a memory add button as well, um, which is um, for, for entering your, your phone numbers. 
Notice there's no letters on here, so I'm not actually sure if you could put um, names in. I'm guessing you might just be able to put numbers in. Um, I really wish I had the manual to this, but um, if you guys have a manual for one of these, uh, drop me a comment. Even if it's in a PDF or, or photocopy, I'd be interested in getting one because I really don't know how to work this phone. Um, all I can tell you is the volume is increased by pressing that. Um, now I'm guessing... You got one ringtone and the way to change the volume of the ringtone is up arrow and then that and if you don't press the up arrow then obviously you're just changing the earpiece volume um now let me see if i can get the number that was the original number 0585 that will have been i think that would have been cell now i don't see that being vodafone prefix um so see how many minutes this thing's actually done it won't even tell you that real basic phones these but um, these were sold and I'm guessing they made a huge profit on these because these were cheap to manufacture they had these in America as well for amps um, and I think they even had these in Australia for amps as well a couple of other countries but um, I think uh, I think even these were available in Israel and Palestine and a couple of other places like that which had uh, amps networks um, but I've not seen these for uh, for uh, for anything other than amps and e-tax uh, I don't think these were available in Germany, partly because I think people would have just boycotted them because they are real basic phones. Um, these are about as basic as you can get um, with nothing else. You compare that to a, a DPC, it's got f way, way more functions and features. You got a, a menu button there, you got a whole bunch of other stuff you can do with this. Uh, these are real basic and I'm guessing these were probably... Um, oh, it does do letters. That's interesting. How did I do that? I don't know how I did that, but it obviously does letters. Uh, like I said, without the manual, I can't really work this. Uh, so this is going to be a fairly brief video. Um, neat phones, but um, I probably wouldn't have one. So if you got one of these with a manual, uh, drop me a comment. Let me know. Um, I'll try and sort something out for you. Um, that's all I got to say about this. Um, I did mention last week I'm going to give away... Um, couple of phones that still holds i've yet to figure out how to do that though uh, i'm going to try and think of a cunning way of of uh of doing some sort of little competition or something um maybe count up the amount of times i say motorola or nokia in uh, in my most recent uh, videos or, or maybe count up the the amount of motorola's or, or things i have um, in the background or something like that something that's easy something that doesn't require any 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 fancy calculations it just requires you to watch the videos really um that, that's kind of it um, i want this to be as um as fluid and as open to anybody because i know a lot of my viewers are, are, are young kids you know maybe 12 13 some, sometimes i get emails from from 13 year olds uh, asking me about stuff like this because obviously nowadays everybody's got a phone when i was 13 i was still playing around with lego so um the times have changed but anyway uh thanks for watching uh, i know it's a real brief video but uh the competition's coming and the giveaway's coming so hang in there and if you haven't subscribed hit that subscribe button as well give me a thumbs up if you like the phone of the video thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next week